have on show here at Indo Defense is the Smart S MK2 radar. One of our most successful uh, products we have in our large product portfolio. It's a three-dimensional radar. Uh, we are very happy it has been selected by the Indonesian Navy, the Angkatan Laut, for on board their latest corvette, the PKR. Uh, it has a 250-kilometer uh, range, and um, recently it was uh, also ordered by France. So again, one of our most successful products uh, in the market. It's uh, uh, a uh, solid-state type of radar, where we use uh, the solid-state technology and a number of power books with the uh, inherent fail-soft capability. So if you lose a number of power books, you hardly will not recognize. Whereas, whereas in the old days, you had the tube, and if the transmitter tube was failing, the radar was down. So this one will uh, continue to operate, and you can repair when the ship comes back from uh, from a mission. Another radar we are showing uh, at Indo Defense is the Variant. It's part of the large uh, Talos product portfolio. It's, in fact, it's a three-in-one or almost a four-in-one radar system. With the three-in-one, I mean a large bandwidth operating in the I and C band, together with an LPI type of radar for uh, the silent operation. Uh, if you add the IFF, which is capable to be integrated with the Thales Variant radar, you have almost a four-in-one radar. It is normally uh, equipped on uh, medium size of ship, the medium surveillance radar up to about 80 kilometers, uh, especially for detecting small surface target and an air coverage out to about 80 kilometers. The Smart S MK2 uh, radar as produced by Thales is, is a three-dimensional radar. In fact, it's a four-dimensional radar because we also measure the speed of the target by Doppler processing. This is, gives us a big advantage over, uh, I would say, the competition where we are able to much better distinguish between uh, real targets and cluttered type of targets. It is uh, uh, normally the main center on board the ship. In the surveillance mode, it is a 250 kilometer range for air targets, and of course the surface targets are out to the radar horizon. So, uh, in the defense mode, when uh, when there is uh, some kind of uh, threat, it is uh, doing a, a double update speed, and the range is 125 kilometers. So, it's uh, quite a successful radar. As, as stated, it is a solid state operation. Uh, which is a big advantage over the uh, older technologies where you use the tube type of transmitters. So it has an inherent fill soft capability. All the transmitter and receive is built into the antenna. So the integration on board ship is, uh, is extremely simple. That's why it's also uh, used sometimes for replacement of older radar on board of existing ships. The, the interface is a very simple uh, uh, coaxial type of cable connected to the uh, equipment and combat information room uh, in, in the ship itself. So we are very proud uh, to have such a uh, product and in the wide range of the Thales product portfolio it's an extremely successful product. So as can be seen from uh, this chart we have a large number of contracts uh, under uh, implementation. It means that the Thales naval combat system uh, is uh, applicable to many sizes of ship. We can fulfill requirements of, of navies all around the world for smaller type of ships, for uh, larger size of vessels. Uh, it proved that this slide not only for new built ships, but also for modernization and upgrade uh, contracts and we are proud to be uh, the market leader in naval combat systems for NATO and non-NATO navies.